But first, let's start with 12 News journalist Sean Rice, who's been out there all day. And Sean, what have you learned about the missing man? Bay, those search and rescue efforts remain ongoing for a man whose family members tell me is 22 years old and has a newborn baby at home. It's really a tragic situation as his family members have been here on scene, visibly emotional at multiple times as both police and fire crews told them that their loved one is indeed the person still missing inside. We did get major news in just the last few moments as two separate search and rescue dogs have hit at the exact same spot above this rubble on the north side of the warehouse. It's a very good sign that this missing worker could still be here under the rubble alive. They are emphasizing this is not a recovery operation. They're holding out hope this person may be still alive inside. They did send one black dog up on top of the rubble. That dog then walked the entire north side of the building, which nearly toppled to the ground yesterday evening. Then when one dog got a hit that something could be beneath that rubble, they sent another dog on top of that same spot. And that dog detected a heat signature at that very same spot. Moments ago, Fire Captain Todd Keller told us what happens next in this rescue operation. They'll drill into these void spaces, into the concrete, send cameras down there that they can maneuver and position and see what is down there. If those cameras find him under the collapsed building alive, they will then work with several structural engineers to begin removing the debris piece by piece. Phoenix Fire did emphasize that the rescue dogs hitting at that same location does not mean for sure that this worker is down there alive. It could be picking up something else that those dogs may be, may be reading here. It's certainly very good news for this worker's loved ones. We did also want to mention that Captain Todd Tell Keller told us he's seen multiple occasions where someone missing under rubble may still be alive without food and water for multiple days. So we're certainly holding out hope that this missing worker is still alive and those dogs picking up uh, a reading and a hit underneath the rubble is, is very good news that his family members uh, certainly have been waiting for for all of this morning and certainly into the afternoon hours. For, not, for now, live in West Phoenix, Sean Rice, 12 News. All right, Sean, thank you so much for that update. Hopefully, hopefully we get some very good news coming out of there soon.